I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Selection.
Now we're going to have a scripture by Deacon Curtis Harrington, prayer followed by Apostle James Lasseter. Amen. Praising God, right? Yeah. 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 So when I woke up this morning, first thing I came to my mind, you got to read the scripture today, so you might as well just get it together. <laughs> you know, when you got to work, you just, just like in the morning, when they got to go to work in the morning, first thing I do, when they get up, you already know what they got to do. Okay. And so I have a pain in my step, amen. So I'm going to try my best to not to. Uh, some of these words, but you know, I'm not the greatest reader. I'm going to do my birthday. Amen. Amen. Who is my first coming from? Uh, John 15 and the 16th verse. Amen. Amen. You did not, you did not choose me, chose me, but I chose you. And appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. A fruit that we are like. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Amen. 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 That's all I'm gonna read, just a little bit. I said I can read one verse. I'm not gonna be obedient. I'm gonna just read one. Amen. Oh, you know what? The word is still speak for yourself. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, a lot of times when a computer come in at when we try to tell it, you know, explain what it is. Just read it and leave it. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name that's above every name, and that's the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come before your throne saying thank you. Thank you, God, for your love and your kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for your grace, your undeserved favor. Thank you for looking beyond our faults, seeing our needs. Father God, here we are in your presence. Here we are, God, looking unto you, Jesus. For you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord God, we're asking you, Lord, to have your way. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. God, do whatever you want to do. This is your service, oh God. Father God, we ask you to bless God. Lord God, even the host pastor, God. Father God, pastor down in God and all the, uh, the, the, the officials that are here today. God, bless them now. Meet every need, God. Oh, God, look upon the honoree today, oh, God. Oh, God, touch him right now. Father, continue to encourage him, God. Continue to build him up in your Holy Spirit. Oh, God, finish what you started in his life. Oh, God, we're thanking you now for the call that's on his life, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to bless his wife. Oh, God, we hold them up, God, before you. Lord, knowing, God, that they are a power team. Lord, that you want to use them for your glory. Oh, God, now we are saying thank you for what you are about to do in this service today. Sing your word, God. No need to hear from you. We will give you all the praise and the glory. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. God bless you. I don't, I don't feel no waste time. I've come too far from where I start, started from. And nobody told me that the road would be I don't believe it 
We're going to pray over the altar. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just want to thank you, Lord God. Lord God, we just thank you for allowing us to be producers. Lord God, we pray over this offering right now that it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I'm 
got a right to pray. I just got a right to pray. Oh, I got a right to pray. I got up this morning just to pray. I got up this morning just to pray. I got up. I've got a right to pray. I've got a right to pray. Oh, I, yes, sir. I got up this morning to pray. for the scripture and Apostle James Lassiter for the prayer and we thank the ushers for the offering. Now we're going to have the introduction of the speaker by Reverend Cheryl Downing, follow a selection by the Clark family, and then we're going to have the ordination sermon. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the, Lord. Lord. the Lord, everybody. Praise First of all, give honor to God for being here. Yes. To the queen of this house, Pastor Amen. Hill, I love you. We thank you so much. Amen. To every other pastor, minister, lady in the building, and to you, you and you. It's indeed a great pleasure and an honor to be here today to Amen. celebrate, to honor this great servant. Amen. And that's just being lightly. My husband is awesome in the Lord. I'm not just saying because he's my baby, but he's awesome in the Lord. Um, but I'm going to tell you a few things about him other than then we'll get to the spiritual things. He, he is a hardworking man. He has been at his present job, only job, for 40 plus years. Come on, yeah. He loves his job. Amen. He is married to yours truly. We have one adult child, and we have three grandchildren. Those are the two oldest that we're in, they're in training. Amen. They're in training. Uh, other things I can say about my husband is he's a person that's he'll walk around quietly, but when he needs to speak, he will. 
Whether you want to hear it or not, he's a man of valor. Uh, he has a heart that gives. He will give you the shirt off his back, even if it leaves him shirtless. He don't mind going over and extending himself to help you in a situation. And all those things are good. And this, I'm just going to throw this in. And he is a almighty Dallas Cowboy fan. <laughs> he loved them Cowboys. But that's good. That's that side of him. Now I'm going to tell you the spiritual side. He feared the Lord. He's going to do what God tell him to do in spite of who tried to tell him different. He is growing. God is nurturing. God is moving. God is shifting him into a place that he never expected to be. And he didn't go looking for it. Come on, somebody. He was chosen. And he, he is a preacher, teacher of the word. He's not going to hoop. He ain't going to holler. He ain't going to hang from the chandelier. He's going to teach you the word. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. And so after the choir give us a hot selection, you would hear from none other than my baby, my pastor, my best friend, Pastor William Henry Downing Jr. Yeah. Thank you. Thank
Then let them use the office of a deacon to be formed plainly. Even so, their wives must be great, not slender, so faithful in all things. Let the deacon be the husband of one wife, ruling their children in the house of a widow. Let the deacon be the husband of one wife, ruling their children and their household will. For they that thou hast used the office of a deacon well pursued, purchased to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I give honor to my Lord and say, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for today, Lord. Lord, I repent for anything I may have said that does not be to your eyesight, Lord. So I ask for forgiveness, Lord. So I ask you to come in this service, Lord. Lord, bless this service, Lord. So I ask you to move we out of the way. Let the Holy Ghost die, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Once again, this gives me great honor to do this. The role, a primary role of a deacon. That's the subject. The role of a deacon. A deacon's primary role is that of service. A word that so many don't understand that God called all of us to serve. Amen. God called all of us to serve. Oh, yeah. to serve. Not one, but all. Yes, sir. God called all of us to serve. Right. People don't understand that. Some don't, but it's true. We have to serve one another. And be honest and faithful. Whatever God puts you in all of us. The word of God identifies the role and responsibility of a deacon. They are spirit, spiritually qualified men and women yes. who are chosen by the church from among its members and appointed by the pastor to serve specially within the church. They will otherwise distract the pastor from praying and ministering of the word. So we see, church, the deacon has to take pressure off of the pastor. Come on. Because the pastor has many other things that he should be doing. Right. He got to pray. He got to be praying. He got to preach the word. Yeah. So he has to do a lot of study. Yeah. Come on now. So he can stay focused. So he can be on point. Yes, a pastor role is men. A pastor can't do everything. That's right. That's why they elect deacon and deacon to help out in the church. Amen. Amen. Acts six chapter. First verse through the six. We back it up. Right. On that note, we see that Stephen was the first deacon chosen at the church at that time. Yes, sir. He was a man full of faith Come on. and a full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you see, the church, we must look for honest, spiritual, mature, and wise That's men right. and women to lead our church. That's, That's right. right. They have to be honest, honest spiritual, to be with the Holy Ghost. We can't put in and everybody in these positions. You better say it. Church. You better say it. And everybody should not be in these positions. Amen. It ain't no buddy buddy system. That's we got to do by God. Amen. No buddy buddy system. Because that person needs to be there or over there or in that spot. Amen. That don't work in God. Amen. Amen. We're going to be a mess. Amen. 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 No matter who you is, brother, sister, cousin, yes. author, what. That's right. No buddy buddy system in the church. That's right. They were, be, they were to be well respected and full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. People who carry heavy responsibility and work closely with others should have these qualities and not one who wants to tell the pastor what to do all the time or the congregation. Yes. It's a role for the deacon and a role for the pastor. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. The deacon role is for the help of the pastor, be there for him in time. Yes, but one but one who is there when he or she sees the pastor going in the wrong direction or the church as a whole, that's when it's time to be a deacon. When you see things not in order, Come on. through the way God allowed it to be, that's when the deacon should step up. Call the meeting with the pastor. Yes. Don't be arguing about it. Right. Pastor, may I have a meeting with you? Amen. We're not to talk things over yes. concerning the church. That's what you guys see. Amen. 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 Deacon's got a special role in the church. Yes, sir. An important role. Yes. He'll be there. He'll be an honest man. Yes. An upright man. Come on. 
Be there with the pouting through time. The pouting, it get hard and heavy. Be there to set the pouting stuff up, put it in a place for the church for the beginning of the service. At the end of the service, be there. Don't be the first one to leave. Come on. Be there. Amen. Spiritual leadership is a serious business church. It must not be taken lightly by the church That's the stuff. or those in leadership. Teach pastor. A spiritual leader. You have to be serious. The role of the church. A leader has to take his role seriously. Because what you say you're going to do, you told you promised God. Amen. You promised man, you promised God. Right. God is the one looking at you that you promised you would do this. Right. And you start not doing it, you got to answer God. That's right. Amen. First Timothy 3, 12 and 13 say, and a, a deacon must be faithful to his wife. We just read A deacon must be faithful to his wife. It must marry to manage his children and his household well. For those who have served well gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Jesus Christ. So you can't run around and be married to everybody in the United States or wherever you're from and call yourself a Jesus. And you can't handle your own house. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. One wife. Take care of your children. Raise your children. Teach your children. So they can respect you as their host. Amen. You're not in Africa with no farm coming with all these wives. And all these <laughs> One wife. Amen. Amen. Respect your wife. Why you respect your hood? Amen. And everything will be fine. Amen. And I say to God. Yes, sir. Amen. To be a church leader is a head of responsibility. Because the church belongs to God. Mm -hmm. The church belongs to God. Yes. Church leaders should not be elected because they are popular. All right. Nor should they be allowed to push their way to the top. Preach, man. Right. Instead, they should be told by the church because they're respected because of their respectful truth. Yeah. Both in the doctrine and the personal life. You can't push yourself to the top in you in the church. If you do so, it ain't gonna work. You might think it is, but in the end, it's not gonna work. That's right. It's not going to work. I'm pretty sure all of us seen certain things and places where people try to put themselves in. Himself. Overrule the pastor's choice, the congregation's choice. It's not going to work, church. No matter what position you want in life, you have to earn it. Come on. You have to work for it. Respect, earn respect. Amen. Amen. The Lord, I told the Lord I won't have a long uh, sermon because this is a special moment for me. We can't hear to ordain my brother. A true man of God. Amen. I met Brother Lewis back in 2000 at Salem Chapel. We noticed each other. He watched me, and I watched him. I didn't know he was watching me at the time. <laughs> Until later he told me. But I was watching him. <laughs> so we were watching each other. <laughs> Under the leadership of Pastor Walt. A great man. Yes. Not about me. He came to take care of God's business. A great man. A man that worked with him. An intelligent man, you can see by the program. Mm -hmm. He's been serving all his life. Come on. He's been patient. I have never been on that thought of him. He didn't know he was already being prepared to be a Jesus. That's right. He's been a servant all his life. Yes, sir. He served us. He protected us. In, he retired out of the Marine Corps. Yes, sir. He didn't know none of us. But he served, he was serving us. That's right. Already. 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 That's good. Already served. Somebody he laid his life down that he didn't. You better teach. And I honor you. Amen. I honor Amen. all the service members that are here today for, the, for that room. I truly do. I don't take this lightly. I believe in telling the truth. I don't jump off the pew. I don't run up and down the aisle. I teach the word of God. Amen. That's what my pastor taught me to do. Right. I stick to the Bible. Real told me, said, don't take all day to do nothing, brother now. <laughs> I hear you, real. I hear you. you. Take all day to do that. And that's true. If you stay too long, people will start dropping their heads. They'll let people sit down. Time for to sit down. You forget what you say. So with that note,
Now we're going to have the charge to the church by Pastor Shirley Hill, followed in charge of the Bible by Minister Jensen Arrington, then the ordination prayer by Pastor Shirley Hill, then the presentation of the certificate, Pastor William Downey Jr., presentation of the gift, Emmanuel Christian Center, and the benediction and the closing remarks. We're going to follow the program. Servant, servant 
parenthood days, putting others before yourself. Uh-huh. There's going to come times that your toe going to hurt. Yep. Come on. Or you're going to put that toe in the shoe and go on Amen. and do a work for the Lord. Amen. I charge you to help him yes. today yes. to put himself behind. Yes. Today he goes behind the cross. Uh-huh. Yes. Today he goes behind the cross. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. I charge us as the church to live up to the standards yes. set forth in 1 Timothy 3, 8 through 13. Mm-hmm. Deacons are to be full of wisdom. Amen. And the Bible says in the book of James, if you lack wisdom, uh-huh. ask the Lord of it. Yes. And he will give it to you liberally yes. and upbraid it not. Yes. Charge you to perform self-control. Yes. And the Holy Spirit living inside of you will guide you in the direction yeah, yeah. that you shall go. Am I right about it? Yes. You will only represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Everything you do is going to represent the Lord. Amen. Sometimes you might want to speak, but I charge you today to surrender to the power of that small little voice that's going to rest upon you forever today. I charge you today to carry out this great commission, which Jesus said was to spread the gospel to all people. A deacon should be ready to share his or her faith with us. No stranger should ever come to you and you not be willing to tell them that I serve a true yeah, and yeah, living yeah. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I serve one that was born, uh-huh. did die, uh-huh. rose from the cross uh-huh. on the third day, and I have the all power sitting on the right hand of the Lord, making any yeah, yeah, yeah. for us right now. Come on, get Come on. Up.
and because you love God, you know how to love my sister. Yeah. And I thank you. Like I said, you are my brother-in-law, but we take the in-law off, and you are my brother. That's right. And I thank God. And now I charge you now to follow after the word of God. Amen. Let your light shine. Let your faith grow in that word. Because that word, it will keep you. Yeah. It will keep you for the rest of your life. Yes. All of our answers are right there in the word. The word will build you. Yeah. It will encourage you. Yeah. It will give you peace. Yeah. It will just give you so much joy. Yes. And all of that is in the word of God. Wow. A good man steps mm -hmm. are ordered by God. Yeah. Order your steps in that word. We call the Bible the basic instructions before leaving earth. Yeah. And that word will tell you everything you need to know. Yes, it, it will lead you. It will guide you. Yeah. It will be a lamp unto your feet in the darkness. That is in the word of God. Yeah. And I can yeah. tell you this because I know it for myself. When I go through, I go back to that word. Yeah. When I'm in my car, I speak that word. Yeah. When I'm in the grocery store, I still speak that word. Because yeah. there's so much power. In the word of God. Yes, it it's alive. It's a sharp within a two-edged sword. That's the word of God. Yes. It cuts out things that don't belong in your life. Yes. That is the word of God. Yes. 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 And Proverbs 4 and 20 said, My son, pay attention to my words. And climb thy ear to my saying. Yes. You let them not depart from thine eyes. Yes. But you keep them in the midst of thy yes. heart. But they are life to those that find them. And help to your whole flesh. Life is in that word. We were formed because of the word of God's mouth. Yes. So we need that word yes. to survive. Come on, depend and hold on to that word yes. with dear life. Yes. Because all our lives depend on that word. Yes. So Deacon Love, you stay in that word. Yes. Encourage my sister Lunda to stay in that word. Yes. Even when she doesn't feel like it sometimes. Bring her back to that word. Yes. Say, come on, honey, we got to read that word. Yes. A good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Yes. And you would get all your good instructions from the word of God. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That word will keep you. In that word, it will work. If you work that word. So work that word. Be all who God called you to be. It's good to be chosen by God. Now stay in that word. And let that word lead you and guide you. Amen. And I pray yeah. that all will be well yeah. with you and your household. Yeah. That you will do exactly what God instructed you to do. Yeah, right. Because you are following after the word. Yeah. Pray my steadfast in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to ask all our day pastors and all ordained deacons, if you would come now and gather around Deacon Kelvin and Deacon Miss Linda Little. Amen. I can give us some music. We are still quietly will. And I want y'all to get a little bit closer in your chairs so nothing can come in as a gap in we don't want to get there. Amen. All ordained deacons. All ordained deacons and all ordained ministers. And pastor. Oh, bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. This is that sacred part. Yeah, yeah.
us without form and hope. And darkness surrounded it. But in darkness, God, who went in and poured out light. Who can pour light out of darkness but Adonai? You went in, Father, and he was in a dark place. But you saw him from the foundation of time. And God, we have brought him to this place, to this time. And we ordain him today, Lord God, to be a workman for you. One that's going to go in the hedges and the highways and compel tired men and women that the wages of sin and death. But your gift is eternal life. We rally around them today, God. Your ordained pastors, your ordained ministers, God, your ordained deacons, God, and we declare and decree that you who started this work will continue it until the day of Jesus Christ. You got the power.
see that it's going to need you so much now. Yeah. Ah, everybody that's been our day, you know he's going to need you more than ever now. It's on. It's on now. Amen. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. This is from the church because we love you and we're glad that we're here to celebrate the day with you. This, because one thing I definitely say about you, you are a traveling man. <laughs> Ever since my sister, you probably are the one that broke her out of her, her comfort zone of getting on airplanes and cruises and you're a traveling man. Like I said, I've never been on no airplane, on no boat yet. But you might be the one to help me break out of it too. <laughs> so there might be there is a reason why you're in our lives. <laughs> but here's a little gift from us. So traveling money <laughs> for you and your wife. God bless you. God. Love you. Once 
again. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Here in my life. Amen. Now, Pastor, he opened her door. Yes. It's a great honor to be here. Yes. Brother Little, Sister Little, family. We all are family. Amen. All are family. Yes. That's honor and respect to each other. Yes. Everybody different. Everybody has different opinions. But in the eyesight of God, we are all a family. Yes. We were saying for the benedict. Okay. Yes. Do we have your family? Let the church say amen. 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 Give him to God. Give him my life. I would like to give honor to the beautiful pastor for allowing us to worship the yeah. Lord. I would like to give honor to my handsome pastor, yeah. all the all the deacons and all the friends. Yeah. This is a lot. Yeah. But I thank God that He chose me. Amen. Amen. And I will not fail Him. Amen. But what I want to do now is introduce. I've already said my pastor. You already know my pastor. So. My oldest son, Kelvin Jr., please stand. My second, my last son, Christopher, he flew in and surprised me from New York. My baby girl, Kennedy. My daughter Amber is in Arkansas. She cannot be here. I would like my baby sister Jessica. Please stand with your husband, Tony. Yeah. I would like my big sister Jacqueline. Please stand. Yeah. I would like my greatest niece Bree. Please stand. Yeah. And my great niece Mimi. Heart Connection Ministry, please stand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My two deacons from Honeywell, stand. All right. These are going to be my support group. All the members that work with me from Honeywell, please stand. Everyone from Honeywell, please say right. Thank you for coming. Amen. D and Martha, please stand. <laughs> Two good friends. Love both of them. My friend Billy in the back. We talked a lot at the barbershop. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime anybody hear me say I have a hair appointment, which I only have a lot of hair, but if I say I got a hair appointment, Miss Bessie, please say This is my hairstyle. Thank you. I ask that God touch and bless each one of you. Continue to pray for me. Keep me uplifted. And I will do what God has me to do. Thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Please stand, young lady. <laughs> you know, you know, for some reason, every time I take a picture, she always photobombing me. I don't understand why. She's always in my pictures. But I appreciate her. I appreciate the support. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. for me. All the times you talk to me. Uh, you know, when I get anxious about things, you tell me, hey, slow down, slow down. And you're always praying for me. Sometimes when I'm asleep, I feel you put your hands on me and pray for me. Amen. Thank right. you. Uh, Amen. You're great. And I love you. <laughs> I am so sorry. Where's my other church family? Emmanuel Christian Center. Amen. Please stand. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for 
Yes, sir. And we, we would like to thank the Clark family. May heaven and earth smile upon us until we meet again. Let the church say, Amen. 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 Y'all tidy up. Make sure you take all your program and pay We're going to keep you out to hear the church right. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 